Believe Sport that, matters. Jackie. Sport matters in that. That was unbelievable. And we see now the Manly Marlins coming out. How excited are field. you, Jackie? Both times it's been a fantastic tournament. Oh, and this is the exciting part now. Sevens is fast, it's action-packed, and what we love about sport is the values that underpin it. That's what drives our work at Sport Matters, and that's what we're seeing on the field here this afternoon. Well, they talk about NRC unleashed. This is unleashed times 10. <laughs> we see everything in this. And all of the players out here today got their start in rugby somewhere, and we're all about supporting people in that start particularly in developing countries and in Australia, so that that's positive. Ooh. Yeah, definitely a positive message that we see now. The Marlins taking that. Of course, the Marlins new to the seven scene, only playing a handful of tournaments against this Central Coast side who definitely have been the big improvers over the course of the year since we saw them last year. How important is it to get not just our young boys involved, but women as well? Uh, Jackie? No, most definitely. And that's um, on display in the work that we're doing in Laos, in Asia, where rugby is making a huge difference across 12 villages. Oh, here we go. That's a try straight away for the Central Coast side. A few changes here, too, for the Manly side. They've had a few injuries yesterday. So plenty of depth on the peninsula. Well, it doesn't matter if it's the Peninsula or Laos, does it? Wherever there's a union ball, people just want to get involved. Yeah, absolutely. Rugby's got a lot to offer, and it's exciting that it's opening up on the Olympic program next year. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of countries that are excited about getting involved in this sport. It's fast, it's action-packed, it's athletic, and Rugby Sevens uses every muscle in your body. Well, certainly rugby has got a lot to offer for me. It's got a lot to answer for. Jackie? Has... <laughs> How's your, pace? How's yeah. your pace on the sevens oh, field? Still got yeah, it. I used to be a seven specialist. <laughs> I remember Crescent had seven, scoring a try from 50 out off the kickoff. It was the quickest try in under eight's history too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee, seven and aside when you're, eight old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you're eight years old. That's where it started back then. It's been going for 30-odd years. <laughs> and it's got bigger and bigger. It started from 10 out, now it's, <laughs> now it's 50. <laughs> So here they go, the Central Coast side, very good. Get behind your team at home. Of course, Pete Jolly's checkered career. Finding himself in the commentary box. And here they go, the, the Sevens girls. The Central Coast Academy. Well done, and this could be a big score here. What do you think, Jackie? Oh, I think it's awesome. I think this event's got a lot to offer for the coast. It's bringing people from all around the world and showcasing what the Central Coast has got to offer. Um, and particularly for women's rugby, there's a lot of platforms here. Yeah. There was an um, under-16s event on Friday, which was really exciting. There was some good engagement from the international team supporting that as well, <coughs> providing some female role models. And again, that's important for girls to have people to look up to in this sport. Well, definitely might I say you're a female role model on the coast as well. Where do you call home, Jackie? Uh, I live in Sydney, and oh, I play with go. Waverley Rugby Club in 15s. Waverley, the, the famous Waverley name, of course, Waverley College, producing a lot of Wallabies. Yeah. Stephen Hoyle's a massive bar TV fan. Morgan Tiranui as well. Products there, and of course, our producer, Brendan McCormick, having taught at Waverley College. So here they go. We've also the, got Ben Evans at the moment at Waverley. He's a former Welsh international player. He's there a big you go. advocate for Sport Matters work as well. So how do we get involved in Sport Matters, Jackie? Because sport, it does, it matter. does matter. I wouldn't be here without it. <laughs> how did you get involved? I started it. You started I it? I started it together with our co-founder, who's a Central Coast girl, Liesl Tesh. She's mm -hmm. a six-time Paralympian. Yeah. she. Yeah, and um, uh, four years ago, we uh, got together to form this organisation. So we work across Australia, Pacific, Asia and Africa, using sport to make a difference in people's lives. Oh, and good hand off. We want to off. see more sport and less poverty. Yeah, great. Well, we want to see more great tries work. here, and that's another one. So less poverty around the world. So people can get behind us by jumping on our website, which is sportmatters.org.au. And if you're here at the game, you can come over and see us next to the grandstand. 
and we love being a charity partner for the Central Coast Sevens and we look forward to being at this event for years to come and hopefully bringing some developing squads from some of the countries that we work in around oh, the world. Oh, that'd be an unreal boon so for the Gareth Central Coast and Sevens. I come over and see you after, the, we could end up in uh, Laos or anywhere around the We've world. We've got a world map over there so kids can get oriented to some of the places we're working in. Fantastic. So well, Pete, a country. <laughs> Pete <laughs> hasn't been west of Campbelltown, Jackie, so it'll be interesting <laughs> for him. Oh, there's another world out there, is there? Yeah, there's oh, a whole wow. There's a whole new world. It's I'm, a big world, Pete. I don't know if you're ready for it as we go to the kickoff. I'd like to go to Alice Springs. <laughs> That's west of Campbelltown. In the desert, Gareth. Gareth says, stay there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't say stay there. I'd say go further west. <laughs> 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 In here the they go. I can look for MH370 while I'm at well, it. Well, you're missing the action here, Pete, as they Tell me what I've missed. burn the sideline to Cinders. The Mermaid side, of course, sister club of the Marlins playing in that famous strip. The Shoot Shield side almost winning the, the Shoot Shield final this year. Coming, coming up short against the Eastwood club. So holding on, says the referee. We've got some special announcements here. We've got, we've got all sorts of balls in the box here this afternoon. We've yeah, definitely. This is the Sport Matters board saying sport thank you, of course. Design. Ball, yep. yes. Talk us through the designs, oh, Jackie. Yeah, these balls were designed by young people in Laos. And um, so they've got the local partner logos on there. And if you donate one of these balls, um, it will be used by over 5,500 children and young people across 12 villages. Is it? They say rugby for all in English and in Lao language. So that's, um, that's, I mean, that's a good design. What is yeah, it, paint by absolutely. numbers or they, they make it all themselves <laughs> up? No, these have been produced um, by a factory in Pakistan with our partners Gin to Sport, Australia's first fair trade supplier. Um, and the project is all about child rights and child protection and making sure that we're using sport to teach positive life values and things that people can take away from the sports field into their lives. So it's important that that's reflected in all aspects of the program, from well, the on-field games and activities, but also where those balls are made and what happens behind the scenes. As far as taking positive messages away, Jackie, what positive messages has sport taught you, and especially rugby? Ooh, well, that's a big one. None. <laughs> Look at <laughs> no, you. It's huge. Look at you on the back of the bus <laughs> in the boat race. <laughs> no, it's awesome. Rugby's fantastic for me as a player. I've played um, for eight years now. I've played in Melbourne. With Powerhouse, I've played in Belgium, Norway, Germany. Um, that doesn't make me an international superstar. It That's does. club level, <laughs> it most does definitely. Now. But it's all, it's a family. Rugby is a family. And I think no matter what sport code you're part of, you've got a place to be. Oh, this is going to be a runaway try. Teaching values here. Lee Whiteside streaking down the far touch line. And that's a great breakaway try. Getting some points on the board. It'll be 19-7, hopefully, coming into halftime. Wow. Did you run like that in Germany? Faster. Fa yeah. yeah. <laughs> My yeah, surname nice. is Lauf, and in German that means run. Does it? <laughs> run. I played up that quite a bit on <laughs> run, the field. Run, run, as fast as you can. What? Come and catch me. So, Nelly over here, number four for Manly, she's been poached from Waverley for today. Good old poaching goes on. The old ring-in rule, one aside. <laughs> it's great to see so many women's teams from around the world here at the tournament. And um, we look forward to lots more women and girls around the world getting involved in this fantastic sport. Yeah, definitely. And of course, what better way to get involved and get yourselves an opportunity to be part of an Olympic squad, be part of Commonwealth Games if you are in the archaic Commonwealth. Yep. Oh. And let's not forget the Pacific Games. Oh, it was just say, done in PNG. We just had a fantastic tournament over there. Of course, I'm sure you guys were... Were present there too? We weren't oh. there in person, but we were um, a part of some of the activities in the lead up to that with the Pacific Sport Ministers meeting. It was hosted just before the opening ceremony. We're doing some work across the region, working on sport policy with regional government. I just take my hat off to the fans of Papua New Guinea. doesn't matter what sport you're playing over there, they turn up in thousands and they just get behind it. 
And in they just love it in droves. Well, yeah. switching codes for a minute. For PNG, the most exciting news in the last couple of weeks is for the 2017 Rugby League World Cup that Australia and New Zealand are hosting. PNG will host some of the pool r- matches wow. for that. Wow, that's, that's, that's big amazing. News. Which that's is nice. News. Yeah, and in PNG, well, they've got some rugby development think, programs well, I was too. Say, I think that's off the back of the success of the Rugby League program over there because they've got the PNG um, Hunters over there, and they only uh, fill one game short of the Entrust Super Cup this year. So, and, and the crowds of that, I was involved a little bit in that, and, you know, you've got 15, 20,000 people each week. Incredible. You know, you'd buy your tickets two, three weeks in advance if you wanted to go see the Hunters play, and uh, they ended up taking a few of their games to uh, the capital as well, and they just built a new stadium up there. Yep. Well, they got like 26,000. Incredible. We go now to the second yeah. half, and of course... Rugby is what everyone is looking at today, Central Coast Sevens, but sport unifies everyone. And, of course, sport matters with Jackie here as well. She is a great advocate for everything involving people coming together around the great game we play, the game they play in heaven, they say, Rugby Union. (laughs) You never know what they play in heaven. We'll find out one How day. did you get your start in rugby? <laughs> How did I get my start? I was a, I was a very bad rugby league player, so I went and started playing rugby and <laughs> was you... fortunate enough to play with the Newcastle Wildfires when we played in the Shoot Shield competition and then I haven't looked back, played a little bit over in Wales for a little bit and yeah, just ended up now working for Bar TV, the end of a very illustrious career. It's not over, surely. <laughs> oh, it's over. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> <laughs> and the quickest man to be sent off in the Newcastle competition <laughs> really? as well, just for the record. Oh, just for the an record. Of was it 12 play? seconds or something. Incredible. It was five seconds. Five. <laughs> Let's not talk about that every time we get on air. But anyway, that's another uh, penalty there as we go back to the action. Can I ask about you switching between codes? Uh, if, you, if you want to ask I me a question, like let's, let's, you, let's you be the interviewer. <laughs> Top five. <laughs> t- 30 seconds so and your time starts you got two questions, Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. you can ask. Of course you can. You started with league and then switched to union. Yes, that's Why right. Why did you make the switch? Oh, just because I wanted to go on bus trips, to be fair, okay. to Sydney. <laughs> so for more internet, well, first of all, local Yeah, to travel, travel a bit more, a bit more opportunity to, to see the world, I guess. All right. Well, I think that's going to happen more and more with the Sevens joining the Olympic program. Those opportunities oh, for... Um, player exchange and engagement around the world is going to be huge. So it doesn't matter what code you start out in, there's opportunities everywhere. Yeah, definitely. And I'll tell you what, those wildfires bus trips, they were off the hook, just nude skiving down the M1. That was Crazy. Only, you still got one question to go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought we were still going. Oh, uh, well, sports. <laughs> Sport lasts a, life li- a lifetime. So even if you're not um, playing contact sport right now, what's next for you in your sporting career? Memories of tries can last a lifetime as well. And that's going to be etched in her memory. Is it what? Yeah, definitely. What's what's next? I, I, I see these people playing, uh, you know, doing this CrossFit, and I've invented a new sport. It's called Lounge Fit, Jackie. Where, um, you know, instead of the, the kettle bells, instead of the kettle bells on the couch, it's the kettle chips. <laughs> well, instead, instead of the Cadbury chocolate... <laughs> Chocolate bar. Uh, you're a prime candidate for one of our programs. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. We've had people coming over to our area at the event here this weekend and writing down for us why sport matters to them. And some of the parents coming past have said that it gets their kids off the couch. It gets mm. people out, getting them active, getting them healthy. They're talking about friendships, teamwork, yep. um, persistence, patience, discipline, all those types of things. Things that you can't Man, develop I, in front of a computer. Yeah, exactly. So getting off the couch is a big part of the message. I no matter what age sport. you are. I participate in sport the way it was intended, Jackie, and that's on, on the TV. With well, my feet up. <laughs> Rupert Murdoch will be loving you. <laughs> Whether you're watching or playing and you're a fan of sport, come support us at Sport Matters and um, get behind our journey yeah, using definitely. sport to make a difference around the world. And thanks for your time this and afternoon, I'm, guys. And I'm joking as well. I do enjoy the occasional jog and, and play touch football and all that sort of stuff as well. Nice. Just getting in your head, Jackie. So, Jackie, just one last <laughs> thing. How, how do people get in contact with oh, your yes. organisation? Absolutely. Come on down through our website, sportmatters.org.au. On there, you can donate a ball if you're interested to support the young people in Laos. 
Um, and that program is expanding to 12 countries in Asia in partnership with Child Fund Australia and also the Asian Rugby Federation. Um, we're also expanding our work across the Pacific soon, so stay tuned for more developments in Australia and across the Pacific. So the score here, 24-7. Thanks very much, Thanks, Jackie, for Jackie. joining us. Feel free to stay for the rest of the game as well. <laughs> Sport <Call> matters. <laughs> Sport matters. It's been great having you over the, over the course of the tournament. We really, we really yeah. like what you're doing uh, with the youth and, of course, yeah. in Australia and around the world. And I will come over and see you and, and put my name down for one of these programs. Fantastic. And for people watching at home, you can jump onto our Facebook page and our Twitter feed at Sport Matters AU and tell us why sport's important for you and your life. And do we win anything? You get to get off the couch while you do that too. That's your next challenge. You have to, you have to get off the couch <laughs> to get your phone. That's a start and we've all got to start somewhere, Jackie. Exactly. So we go back to the action here. Three minutes in it. What will we see? Can we see a comeback? I don't think so. 24-7. The Central Coast Academy of Sport, they most improved here in this tournament. Oh, good little set move, but just not coming off. Oh, referee had his back to it, but got the call from the touch judge. The girls have played quite a few games over the weekend so far, so I'm sure they're getting tired out there on the field. And this heat doesn't help, does it? Quite warm. There's a few dark clouds about to roll in here from the Ooh, western suburbs. Behind us there, yeah. They've been coming rolling in nearly the, all day, but they're, st they're the coming in, closer. They look thick, the don't they? Yeah, they do look thick. And puffy. puffy it might bring a nice cool change for the players because it is hot out there on the field. Into the last 90 seconds here well, on six o'clock. The Bureau's telling me 6 o'clock is when it's going to hit, Pete. 6 o'clock. There's still a bit of electrical activity. Oh, right in okay time now. for the end of the final of the Men's Cup. So here they go, the Marlins. They've put in a good show here. <laughs> Playing against a side who's plenty experience. And here they go, the Marlins. This is a good run there. Off in Galway, the, a name famous in Australian rugby. Malia off and go away. Of course, big Willie off and go away. Rampaging. Loose forward with the 80s and 90s. For the Wallabies. Wait. There we go. The PA announcement just gone around the ground. If anyone wants, to come, if anyone wants to come in, we, we invite them all. Did I hear him say they're good guys to work with? I don't know. Jackie might... <laughs> Did, yeah. might might attest to that, will you, Jackie? Give us a good glowing <laughs> reference. We've only been here a short time so far. <laughs> All positive. Yeah, it's only one game. <laughs> Who are you tipping to take out the men's competition this afternoon? Oh, the Thunderbolts. Oh, Thunderbolts. Okay. Let's stick with the Aussies. And the Pearls in the women's. Yeah. Okay. They Are you, look... you sticking with the Aussies? Oh, I'd... Fiji's got a really strong history in this competition. I'd... I'm... Oh, just dropped at the desk. So it'll be one more play. They kicked it out the Central Coast side. They're happy. They're elated. They've won the match. Well done to the Central Coast Academy. So final score, 24 points to There's seven. There's the boot final winners. The Central Coast Academy. The boot final winners. There you go. What a good matchup. The girls have had plenty of rugby over the last couple of days, so there's a few changes in that final. It's good to see the rugby community coming together and drawing on each other's sides. And that's another thing, you know, the Academy of Sport here on the coast and, the, you know, the programs that they're implementing are certainly shining through as well. Okay, well, thanks very much. Very much appreciated that sport does matter for anyone for life, for everyone as well. Doesn't matter how old you are or how young you are, get involved in sport.